What's happening everybody on YouTube? Steve again with Rake and Profit over at rakeandprofit.com. Come back to you with another video and recently I put a post on my Facebook page, Rake and Profit, asking people to put forth a question. And I said I'd pick one of the questions and answer it live on my YouTube channel. So that's what I'm doing right now. So make sure if you haven't already, head over to my Facebook at Rake and Profit, like the page and stay up to date. So anyways, one of the questions that I chose to answer today, and I'm going to make sure to, to answer a few more as the, uh, the days go on in a week, but for this, uh, for this video, I want to answer a question I got from my buddy Brock Parks, who is not only a green room member, but a friend of mine who's been reselling and really doing an awesome job. He has a uh, YouTube channel as well, Orange Elephant. I'll make sure to link below. But uh, he asked Steve, what would you do if you got kicked off of eBay? And I think he was implying, you know, how would you make money? How would you make a living? How would you get by? So honestly, to answer that question, and I've talked about this before, what I would do is I would move on to something better and I would keep working on other platforms, which I'm already doing. And I can't say how important this is because when you're playing in someone else's sandbox, like when you're selling on eBay, the cards are really in their hand. If, if you get, if you do something wrong or you, you know, break a rule or you do something that, you know, breaks the terms of service, they could kick you off and it happens once in a while. So that's why I always recommend to be selling on multiple platforms. Sell on Amazon FBA, get in tune with Etsy, sell on Craigslist, start a Kindle business, create a YouTube channel, create a website, you know, do some work on the side, um, landscaping, whatever it is, but always have other sources of income. Don't rely on one business. I, I never recommend it. I don't care what business that is, if it's Amazon FBA or it's Craigslist or it's Kindle or it's YouTube or whatever you do to make money, always have another source of income coming in. Try to have multiple incomes. I mean, if you look at all the millionaires and billionaires, they have, I think on average, like 16 different incomes uh, that are coming in. So you want to be consistently building income streams and focusing on different ways to make money. But you know, you want to start small, start with one thing, master it. Once you get really good at eBay, move on to Amazon. Once you get really good at Amazon, move on to Etsy. Once you get good at Etsy, move on to Kindle or whatever it is that you want to do for business, but don't just rely on one thing because God forbid, if I ever did get you know kicked off eBay and it was my only source, I'd be screwed to say the least. And it's just not a smart business decision. You wanna have your eggs in multiple baskets, you wanna be diversified, and uh, you wanna be earning income from multiple streams. So Brock, what would I do if I got kicked off of eBay? You know what I'd do? I'd brush off my shoulders and I'd move on to Amazon FBA and hit it really, really hard. I'd step up my Craigslist game. I'd step up my Kindle game. I would do other things, you know? So uh, keep learning every day. Keep educating yourself. Keep learning new ways to um, off offer the marketplace value and to give back and make a difference. And you're always going to be all set. But, uh, you know, Hopefully this video helped. If you liked the video, like, comment, subscribe. Check out uh, Brock Parks on YouTube. He just put out a crazy uh, dollar challenge video. I'll link to that below as well. But thanks for the question, and I'll see you guys soon. Take care.